All right. Go ahead and call the chopper. Yes, yeah, Snake. Keep an eye out for nearby enemies. They can try to shoot down the chopper. Music by Harry Gregson Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Is, is he great or what? You can't see me. This is European Extreme Challenge. You can't see me. I'm 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 in and out like a ghost. Keep an eye out for nearby enemies. They can try to shoot down the chopper. You don't say pause. I don't know, you look like you're in some pretty bad pain right now. Alright, let's go. Come on, kids. I'm taking you home from summer camp. You child spy you. You're a devil agent, but I, I'll save you still. Mostly because I don't want you to tell the UN about my nukes. And... Come on. Tell, tell me your secrets. I'm not going to the armory. I don't need, like, rocket launchers and shit. I'm not doing one of those playthroughs. Yeah, you can get, like, sniper rifles and stuff, but I don't kill people. I'm a good man. Pay my taxes. You can't tell me that shit. Alrighty. This is where things get fun! I think I need? Yes, because I can do this now. Alright. Uh, yeah, I know your, your stomach hurts. Alright, we checkpointed. Uh, Here on out. That means that they found a body I knocked out, but they didn't see me. Come on, I just want to waste my ammo to get you knocked out at this point. Come on! How many train grounds can you take? Let's get out of the area. Don't, don't call an alert. No, you didn't. All right, I don't think that we got anyone here. I think we're literally right at the home stretch. Yep. Yeah, you go over this hill. You call the helicopter. You wait for a second. I think there's a guard here to catch you on. Yep, there he is. There's two of them! Okay, I only have two bullets left. There we go. Please tell me there's no more guards here, because... Yes! Alright. Now I just gotta call Morpho for the helicopter. Roger that chopper request. It's headed your way now. Yeah, pause. Look, cause is a lot. Uh, not pause. There's pause and cause in the game. I'm confused. This is Chico and pause. Oh, I made it out here with no bullets left. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's get that chopper in. 
This is going to be good. Where are you, Morpho? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, that's him. That's Morpho, my good buddy Morpho. Good, good on you, Morpho. This is Morpho, on station at LZ. Come on, drop. I love this victor victorious helicopter music. Put the targets on the chop. Extract her. If you want, you can also take the guards, by the way. You can rest you can take all the guards away from Gitmo. That might be a fun thing to try one of these days. And there you go. We're gonna get out of Gitmo. No one's no one's any of the wiser. Doesn't matter, we're already gone, bro. I think that might count, yep. Too late. Oh well. It's gonna count. It's gonna count that as me getting caught. I mean, by your extreme pain, extreme laws, that doesn't count. But still, it's gonna count that. Uh, all right. Let's see what my ranking was. It was probably a B, maybe a C, an A, huh? All right. And we come. Hey, no, that didn't count as a combat alert. I got no kills. I rescued the two uh, people. I lost no helicopters. I like retried ten times. And reflex mode is it it's this weird auto targeting thing. Now we can watch uh fun cutscenes as our reward. That's what happens in the Metal Gear games. You uh you get to watch cutscenes as a reward for completing fun content. But that's the end of the gameplay. Now sit back and enjoy. Discretion is advised of this part. This part is very uh, difficult to Hold watch. Her Hold her down. <laughs> yeah. If you're squeamish, look away. <laughs> uh, I'll let you know when it's done. But to me, this is one of the most impressive scenes ever in a video game, despite how fucked it is. Now's where things get awful. Fully rendered intestines and organs. Oh my! Powerpuff Girls is not having a good time right now. And... Oh, God, that's disgusting. Alright, squeamish people, you can look back now. There was a, a blinking package inside of her. Gee, I wonder what it was. Huey. 
Zeke's the Metal Gear. Hooray, we're lying to the UN! Hooray, let's lie to the UN! Yay! He was your tech guy, by the way. He builds your crazy techs. Well, that's no good. Why can't you get through to your home, mother base? Oh no! What are they doing to your mother base? Oh god! How could they do this to your nuclear equipped army without a nation? Oh god, everything you've worked so hard to make. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hit a button. Big Boss solo to Chopper with a goddamn machine gun. I love it. Oh, the fallen comrades. That's fine. That guy didn't do shit. Hey, it's Kaz. The only character not wearing a black face mask. <laughs> Your poor mother base. You spent so much time building it up in Peace Walker. All the men that you kidnapped and brainwashed into joining your army. They're all dying. The huge manity. Ah, uh, literally, comrades dying right in your arms. Snake, don't leave your boyfriend behind. Get in the chopper, Snake. Ah, uh, well, it looks like the UN inspection went about as well as you'd expect anything the UN's involved in. How could they do that to our nuclear-equipped army without a nation? Kojima's response after being fired. Yeah. 
Uh, there's still more to go, don't worry. Metal Gears aren't over until the, you're back at the start screen. So yeah, that is the inciting incident, the Act 1 of Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain. is a society that murders the innocent. Do you too believe your sacrifice will change the world? <sighs> so yeah, if you ever wanted to get a, a quick slice of what a Metal Gear game tastes like, this is the quickest one, so yeah, gives you a good taste of everything. And, and not only that, but uh, it doesn't really affect the later Metal Gear games, and it's not really, uh, you know, it, all of Mech Gear, Metal Gear's canon is retroactive continuity, basically. It's basically people like, hey, how did we get from here to there? And then they make a game based off how we got from there to there. So, uh purpose of this story is to breach the gap between Metal Gear Peace Walker and Metal Gear 1. Not Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear 1. I freaking love this song. Rest forever dear in our hearts. If you ever want to read more about what this song's about, go uh, go look up the Trial of Sacco and Viseni. It's kind of a messed up thing. But, uh, you know... What do you expect from 1920s people? They weren't, they weren't very smart back then. Who knows if they're smart right now, even. But, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed uh, Guantanamo Bay the game. It's tons of fun at Gitmo. It looked like Chico and Paz had a good time at a uh, summer camp. I, at least, uh, you know, before, you know, the bomb parts. Oh, when I was talking about unlockables, I didn't want to say it until we got there, but the stuff that you collect everything to unlock, yeah, what you unlock is the tape of, uh, Paz, uh, having the other bomb forcibly, uh, inserted in her you-know-where. And it's very uncomfortable to listen to that. So, the, the bonus for completing Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes is you get to listen to an 18-year-old girl get raped with a bomb. Because that's how Hideo Kojima rewards his players with completion bonuses. Congratulations, you 100% of the game. Don't you feel uncomfortable now? So, so I never collected those purely because I don't, I don't want that. I listened to it on YouTube. It made me uncomfortable enough. I seek no reason now to uh, put myself through that. Because, ooh, you know? So yeah. As you can see, all Metal Gear games are very politically charged and all that stuff. They all try to say something about the world and politics and war. Um, I, it's my favorite game series, and once we get a capture card, I plan on uh, literally going from Metal Gear, not Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear 1, all the way to uh, Phantom Pain. Might even replay this again, because I don't think... Uh, I think Garrett's only seen the cutscenes. I don't know if he's seen the actual game, and I would like to do... Uh, a 10 minute run because it is possible. I would like to do a 10 minute run. <laughs> Take a shot every time Hideo Kojima's name pops up on screen. Uh, it, it, Hideo Kojima is insane if, uh, if you've never heard stories of his antics. Um, I, I, I'm trying to think of a very specific example, but quite frankly, just everything about the man. Just look up anything he's ever said or done, and you, you'll understand why he's a nut, yeah, nut so. Um, but he, 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 uh, he, one of the outstanding traits of him is that uh, he hates the people who play his games. 
and likes to fuck with them and troll them and make them do uncomfortable things. And the protagonist of his games, well, except for uh, 1, 2, and 4, are always very morally gray characters. Yeah, there's some moral grayness in 1. 2 and 4, not so much. 2 and 4 is, uh, you know... By the end, there's not as much more moral grayness. Uh... But, uh... Since I gotta ramble over this music so I don't get flagged. If I had to rate, in terms of, like, quality, what the best Metal Gear game is, it's Metal Gear Solid 3, which is also the most accessible, because it's the first point in the Metal Gear timeline. So if you're you're ever uh, interested in uh, just picking up a Metal Gear out of nowhere and you don't maybe you don't want to play Metal Gear One or Metal Gear Solid One because they're kind of old, you know, uh, you know, I I think three is a great place to start. But uh, you you have to 100% I think before you die experience Metal Gear Solid Two, which you cannot play without playing Metal Gear Solid One. But Metal Gear Solid Two is just one of the best video games ever. Which is funny, because it's simultaneously one of the worst video games. It's it's a bad video game, but for a purpose. And it's it makes me love the game even more, because basically up... Uh, the game sucks up until the last hour. Actually, no, the first hour is good, and then the last hour is good. But everything in between is absolutely terrible and not fun to play and miserable, and that's kind of the point. But, uh, so, but, but, but still, you have to go through the frustration of that entire game just to get to that last hour, because that last hour will just completely change the way you, you think about everything. But, you know, that's, uh, Metal Gear's 4, 4 a make you think about things. That's why they set a game in Gintamo Bay, because now we have to discuss and think about horrible things that happen in Gintamo Bay. Because Gitmo is no good. Well, I mean, it's a topic to debate. I personally don't think that there's anything good about Gitmo, but I'm sure someone out there would argue otherwise. I disagree with them, but, you know, you're, you're all entitled to your opinions, man. Now, what's really cool about this, and they just brought that up there, is Metal Gear Solid V, both of them, Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain, are, um, it says MGS5 there, but apparently it's supposed to be V. Kojima goes nuts about that if you call it 5. It's Metal Gear V. Um, they're the first Metal Gear Solid games to get PC releases. Actually, no, that's not true. Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 got really weird PC releases that had never been re-released. Oh, the cutscene hold on. Cypher's been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him, face to face, in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me. That's Cypher's code name, no Zero. Where I was born, the language I speak, I never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save me, Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill me, Zero? Not for you. Alright. Zero is... So as you can see, Skullface, Zero's agent, Cypher's agent, is now seeking to rebel against his master. So not only did he get intel about a big boss to take down a Mother base in Military Science Frontiers. He also got information from Paz to take down Cypher. So what's he going to do with this information? Well, find out in the Phantom Pain. 
Now after that ending, uh, you may be wondering, how is, uh, how is it going to be another Metal Gear game? Well, don't, don't worry, don't worry. It's hard to kill video game protagonists. I like the real world timelines they always give after Metal Gear games. On last cutscene. So apparently, at uh, this point during my uh, recording, shit got a uh, pretty choppy, um, which is funny given that this is actually a pre-rendered uh, trailer at the end of the game and not a, uh, you know, like a real cutscene. So I'm uh, I'm on a YouTube page right now. It's a um, Metal Gear page for a, uh, you know, YouTube. Um, Sorry, it's just it hurts to go through all of your uh, editing and do all that shit and find out things didn't go exactly as you planned. As you can see, I'm a little bit heartbroken now. But anyway, if you are all wondering after uh, that cliffhanger, how could there possibly be a Metal Gear after Ground Zeroes when the uh, helicopter hits Snake? Well, let's uh, let's find out. Let me get my mouse cursor out of the way, and boom, there we go. Oh, my flashbacks, my mother base, my fallen comrades. Oh. Oh. Clear. Poor, poor snake. Oh, what's that? He ain't dead? He made it, guys. Snake lives. This, isn't this all fantastic? Oh. Well, not fantastic for his arm. Oh no. Just So yeah, there you go. That's all that's all you missed. That's everything that you missed. It was a trailer for Phantom Pain. That shit in the hospital is literally the beginning of Phantom Pain. Um, if you're out right now, you know the interesting stuff that goes down there. Uh, I'm not going to spoil that. But anyway, now back to the Ground Zero's playthrough, where you can hear how heartbroken I was that the pre-rendered trailer for the Metal Gear game is already out. I'm doing a recap video for by playing the game before it. Didn't work, so I'm heartbroken. My brain hurts. I'm gonna go figure this out. I blame Konami personally. Just, uh, I think we can blame Konami for everything. Alright, now back to Alex in the past. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, that was the fan of pain. Or, not the fan of pain, <laughs> that was Ground Zeroes. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed. Metal Gear as always. I apologize for the choppiness there at the end, but who knows? Maybe I can freaking pull someone else's footage off the internet and fix it and put it in there. I don't know. But, hey. That's, uh, that's how it works when you're on the battlefield. Things don't always go perfectly. You have to improvise. Take things how they are. Um... Alright, uh, signing off. I'm Alex Feinstein. Uh, don't expect, uh, Phantom Pain playthrough anytime soon. I'm waiting for that game's price to drop big time. Um, because got all it here, the Monkey Island rule. Never pay more than $20 for a video game. It's what Snake would want. I know, Snake, Snake looks like he needs to go take a shower, so. Later, folks!